Hey you guys, welcome to Living at Country. Today we have a beautiful farmhouse style home we get to tour today for the Christmas 2020 season. I am so excited to have Amy back sharing her beautiful home, how she decorates it, and get some inspiration from her. So I will link her Instagram account as well as her blog in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and welcome her here today and tour her home. Hi everyone and welcome to my Christmas home tour. I'm so excited to be joining Holly today and I hope you enjoy seeing a little bit of my Christmas touches. I love rustic and vintage and primitive items and I tend to decorate a lot with those. So let's get started. This is my entryway. I love my chippy white cabinet. It was a fun find several years ago and then some old snowshoes. I just um, hung on the top of that little ladder and then a lantern. And then this little old toy wagon was a fun find recently and I knew I had to incorporate it somewhere and I just thought right here would be perfect. I love using the traditional red in my Christmas decor and so you will see lots of little red touches like this little sign. I also love to thrift and I do a fun little thrift trip every Thursday on my Instagram. Um, this crock was thrifted, and then this great vine wreath was thrifted recently. And so I'm gonna try to tell you a fun, you know, little items that I may have thrifted just so you get an idea of what you can find at your thrift shops. You can decorate on a small budget. I have stacked old stools. And then over here is another part of my entryway. I have this old bench, some ice skates, this little pillow, and then a vintage ticking pillow, some faux greenery and a crock. And then up here, that sign is a favorite little reminder for me. It says the days are long, but the years are short. I have teenage boys and I can attest to that. <laughs> I just used um, another little timer candle. You might have seen that on my other cabinet. They come on at night to add a nice soft glow. I love using them throughout my home. I have an old green sack with touches of red in it for Christmas. And I just love this little area as well. Don't want to go too fast. And then I have this little corner right here. And then we'll go into what I call the boy room. <laughs> it's because my boys love to hang out in here and play video games. I'm sorry, the lighting is kind of hard here with the two um, windows. It's a bright sunny day today. I'm gonna start over in the corner though. Move a little slow. Right here is an old pie safe. I just love the chippy white color. And I added a little wreath and then a crock, an old thrifted basket with the metal handle. I love that, right? I put some pine cones from my yard and some faux greenery. And then this Christmas tree I found a few years ago at an antique shop. I believe it is handmade though out of some old siding or beadboard kind of thing. I'm not sure. And then I have a stool with a grain sack and some crocs. And then two of my favorite thrifted paintings. This painting was above my white chippy cabinet in my entryway for fall. And I couldn't bear to put it away, so I moved it to this wall. And then this blue piece right here, I absolutely love. And I switched it up a little bit this year. Um, this is an old ice cream bucket and I just turned it around because I had it out for summer right here. The lettering on it is like a light blue and I thought for winter and Christmas, why not turn it around and just use the chippy white part on the back with the Christmas tree. It's an old sign I found. Um, at an antique shop and an old an uh, antique um, tobacco basket. And then a thrifted candlestick holder, an old crock, a 
thrifted basket. Baskets are one of my favorite things to find thrifting. And then an old little Christmas postcard. And then this is an old thrifted crock, bean crock. And another candle holder. Um, I get a lot of questions about these. These are sifters. They're old wooden round sifters. And I love using them as a focal point in here. Um, but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to message me over uh, on Instagram at my rustic house. I have another vintage ticking pillow and some newer pillows for Christmas. I love using grain sacks on the back of my furniture as a like fun layer. You'll see I have one right here as well. Um, I also love displaying quilts. This was another favorite thrift find. I think it's my favorite quilt to date. <laughs> I have several, but that might, might, might be my favorite. This picture was also a recent thrift find. And another battery operated candle, which I love. And then this cabinet over here. A friend suggested this. I had this old cotton basket and I wanted to display it somehow because it had sat in my bedroom in the floor. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it on this big cabinet. It's a big enough space. And I loved it this way. And my friend suggested putting a birdhouse and some greenery in it. She had seen something like this on Pinterest and I love how it turned out. And then this is a primitive tree with on a chippy white base and an old hog scraper. And this grapevine wreath I found thrifting. And that old broom I found recently thrifting. I just love to use it for display purposes. And then I have, um, we have a family tree that we like to put right here and that will go up after Thanksgiving. So I have to move all that fun stuff out. <laughs> and now we're going into my favorite room, which is the dining room. I love to decorate this room. Um, my table is just an old firkin with some greenery and a battery operated timer candle that comes on at night an old chippy ironstone pitcher i love the crazing on it can you guys even see focus there and then some sleigh bells that i found thrifting and then um, an old grain sack i did put up a christmas tree i love using primitive ornaments I made the twig star out of twigs from my yard and I just took and wrapped wire around the edges. You can make little ones to use as ornaments on your tree for that rustic look if you like. I also made this um, little wooden spoon holder out of a thrifted cutting board and you can see how I did that on my blog, which is myrustichouseblog.com. I have lots of fun things over there as well. And I love using candles. I get lots of questions about these. Not sure what they are. I found them like that. They're old um, jars with handmade handles. And then I have my Santa mug collection, which I love. I found a several thrifting recently as well. And then cute little old um, rolling pin with the green handles for a touch of fun color. And then an old high chair and coal bucket with some faux greenery and an old cabinet. And then these are old rug beaters that I have as well. I have a fun little ironstone collection over here and that is an um, manger set that my children made when they were small and I bring it out every year and it's one of my favorites. I love displaying that. 
That's a treasure right there. I love handmade and especially from kids. I don't wanna go too fast on ya. And then I just hung a dried orange garland and some real greenery in a basket. And then my old, um, this is a barn star. And then I'm gonna go into my kitchen. Touches of Christmas in here. Love this little area. And then up here it says the stockings were hung. I have my scale collection. And then I'm gonna go right over here to my centerpiece. I love using old things. Um, that's an old little butter press, ginger preserve jar, a little gingerbread man cut out, cookie cutter. I made the orange balls um, with cloves. Very simple. I love, love doing a little bit of handmade as well. And then some little ornaments. See what I mean? Here's a little um, twig star I made. You can make the smaller ones and use them as ornaments. I love using oil lamps. I found that one thrifting. And this is our eat-in table. Sorry, the sun, it's pretty bright. I have a plant on this little riser, like a primitive riser, and then a candle holder in there as well. Let's see if you can see them to get it comes on at night. And then I have a peg rack up there. And then this is my main family room. But I'm gonna go over here to this area. I had glass doors on that and one of them actually broke. The glass would not stay in. So I ended up taking them off and I really enjoy it. I like having these little open shelves over here to display my yellowware. And then I um, also redid this thrifted find, which you can see on the blog. And I made some more oranges. And then I just put an old Christmas tree I found thrifting and an old sifter. And this little area I love. It's an old, it's a bull rack. I found this um, rolling pin recently thrifting. I loved the red handles and I thought it would be perfect to display. I also found this old bonnet thrifting. I love, and this basket as well. I find a lot of things thrifting. You'd be surprised. And I found that Christmas tree recently thrifting. I had been looking for one similar to it. The lights don't work, but I need to rewrap it. And I'm okay with that. I like the look of it. And this cabinet was a great find on Facebook Marketplace. I fell in love with it. Found another little postcard over here. And then this piece right here, my husband actually found thrifting and it plays a song that it remind, um, I saw Mommy Kids in Santa Claus and it reminded him of his childhood, a little piece he had. And so um, we had to keep that. I love that. And my favorite Christmas carol is Oh Holy Night. And then I have an old sifter up there. That was a peg rack up there. I had a different display before I moved the cabinet in. I had watering cans on it, um, but I left the peg rack and believe it or not, I actually really love it so I could hang things off of the sides by the cabinet. And then let's go into the family room. You're gonna see a little snippet of the dog bed over there. She was laying on it earlier. Um, this little garland I hung up, star burlap garland, our stockings, and then the Christmas tree. I love that star. I found it at a primitive shop and 
I was just gonna display it in my home um, somewhere hanging up. And then I realized, oh my goodness, I think it would be perfect on the Christmas tree and it, it fit. And I get lots and lots of questions and comments about it. It just sits up there, <laughs> if you can see that. And then this is kind of my farmhouse rustic Christmas tree. Um, lots of different little ornaments. Go a little slow for you. So you can see. And in this little area over here. Those are old European French washboards. I had to, um, I started off with the middle one and I was like, you know what, I need a collection. <laughs> I wanna hang these up. And I found two more and I thought three makes a collection, perfect, I'm gonna hang them up. And they fit perfectly in that little corner. Uh, that's a recent Facebook Marketplace find, this quilt. It's several different colors, but you guys, I displayed the red and burgundy side for a little pop of color for Christmas. And then over here, is an old campfire marshmallow tin, another battery operated candle, and a thrifted candle holder, a crock with the tree, some thrifted old thermoses, some very old sleigh bells, and then of course a little Santa mug. I absolutely love this little cabinet right here. And I just think it all looks so rustic and, and cute together. And then I'm gonna come over here. Give you a view from this area. I have this joy pillow and then another old grain sack on the back of my couch. And then let me show you my centerpiece for my table. Um, it is an old ironstone bowl with some mittens. And then a cute little snowman candle holder with a battery candle. And then of course, this cloche. I get lots of questions about this cloche. This is an old salvaged um, column base. And then I lucked into finding this wire um, top at a vintage market. And I love how it turned out. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed these little snippets of my home. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Instagram. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.